Okay, here's the motor I'm going to be testing the field-oriented control on, eventually. <laughs> See, there's the, uh, what's that called? The encoder. 512 little tick marks per revolution. It's just a one-third horsepower motor. Marathon. Here's the practice power section. There's a spot for three limbs. Here's two more of the current sensors. So one will be here, one here, one here. Three IGBTs. 600 volt, 400 amp dual IGBTs. And this was a piece of the aluminum enclosure that I'm using to I'm going to mount the control board, the AC control board, onto it. It's almost done being populated. It wasn't too bad. It's kind of big, but see, it's got six drivers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six gate resistors. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all optically isolated. They're all going to have their own isolated 15 volt DC to DCs. There, 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 and there. There's where the microcontroller goes. It's going to have six PWM outputs. See that right there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. All of these resistors. They So this will work for just about any type of motor controller, but but specifically for AC and permanent magnet synchronous motor controllers. It's going to have six different PWM outputs with built-in dead time. And here's well, here's the cable. Here's the encoder. A cable. See, it plugs in right here. See, snap. Five wires. There's five volts. Red is five volts. Black is ground, I think. And brown, white, and green are the index QEA and QEB. <laughs> Those are for keeping track of how many ticks it is all the way around and there's one index pulse per revolution but I didn't get that feature and I wish I did now but you don't need that feature for the induction motors like this and here's my little sample uh, my little practice prototype uh, capacitance my bus capacitance so these bus bars we're going to go over here. See, these just sit, you know, more or less just like. I'll have to line it up later, but you get the idea. This is B plus. This is B minus. All the way across B minus. All the way across B plus. And we'll add more capacitance later. That's actually something I would like some people's help on, suggestions on, how to get capacitance between these two, lots of bus capacitance. I think a good way might be to have it go vertically, like stacked up this way. And the, the actual driver's se section is these things. We'll, we'll take these little black things off. See those? Those will be the thing that uh, where the drivers go. And fortunately the control board is coincidentally or perhaps not coincidentally dun 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 there's gonna don't worry it's all isolated but it'll be uh -oh, let's see hmm Oops. It's going to be attached here. 
I have to do a little bit of adjustment here. <laughs> but it's attached there. It'll be attached there. Everything will be isolated electrically, don't worry. And then see how the drivers are really close to their little their little thing that they're driving. Oh yeah. All the way across everything's spaced out just right. Okay. Oops. Phew. So the first test will be just a basic voltage over hertz thing. Oh, because the software is done already. So, voltage proportional to hertz. That's kind of like, that's like the dummy one. That's the one where, kind of like the equivalent in a DC motor where it's like uh, throttle proportional to uh, PWM duty. Just, just a blind, just change it, you know, like without any regard to current. And then... Then we'll incorporate the field-oriented control in a permanent magnet motor. And then we'll make the leap to field-oriented control of an AC induction motor, which is the tricky part. Alright, I may have to back this up a little bit to... How annoying. <laughs> okay, Put this on here. Alright, yeah, that's the basic little sample. I'm saving these other two. Okay. This is a 4700 microfarad, 450 volt capacitor. That's good for about 12 amps of ripple current. That's plenty for this little test. All right. Woohoo, please work. I think it will. Oh, 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 child. <coughs> Thank you for the ride. It was most enjoyable. But why have you brought me to this tower? And where's Eustace? I'm here, Jill. Oh. We seem to be doing an awful lot of flying lately, I should say. <laughs> now I think we're all here. Let us hold a parliament of owls. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I suppose all you chaps, owls I mean, know that King Caspian X, in his young days, sailed to the eastern end of the world. Well, I was with him on that journey. With him and Reaper Cheap the Mouse and the Lord Drinian and all of them. I know it sounds hard to believe, but people don't grow older in our world at the same speed as they do in yours. And what I want to say is this, that I'm the king's man, and if this parliament of owls is any sort of plot against the king, I'm having nothing to do with it. Oh, we're all the king's owls. Ooh. What's this all about, then? It's only this, that if the Lord Regent, the Dwarf Trumpkin, hears you're going to look for the Lost Prince, he won't let you start. He'd rather keep you under lock and key. Great Scott! You don't mean that Trumpkin's a traitor? No, no. Trumpkin's no traitor. But more than 30 champions, knights, centaurs, good giants and all sorts have at one time or another set out to look for the lost prince and none of them have ever come back. And at last the king said he was not going to have all the bravest Narnians destroyed in the search for his son. And now nobody is allowed to go. <laughs> oh, but surely he'd let me go when he knew who I was and, and who had sent me. Sent both of us. Yes, I think very likely he would, but the king's away and Trumpkin will stick to the rules. He's as true as steel, but he's deaf as a post and very peppery. You could never make him see that this might be the time for making an exception to the rule. Oh, how long is the king going to be away? If only we knew. You see, there's been a rumour lately that Aslan himself has been seen in the islands, in Terabinthia, I think it was. And the king said he would make one more attempt before he died to see Aslan face to face.